when you inspire that one person, it becomes like a domino effect because that one person is going to say, hey, I got inspired by such and such. Jump, you're ready now. Jump, the sky's the limit. Jump, jump, jump. Leave it all behind and jump. Just go for it. Jump, if you can dream it. Jump, jump, jump. Together we can do all things. Oh, this is Rebecca here with Jump. And today I have my friend and sister and design and somebody that I admire so much i am looking at her and my heart is just full that i get to have coffee with my yeah. friend this morning and i have a sweet friend melissa from purpose dreaming leaving home yeah i i just want to say i was so excited to first bring you not just because the, i have like this admiration from who you are in the just the spontaneous and you're so so original you're so yourself that has inspired me for so many years but now I feel like you have become a master there's so much that you can give and teach and tell us in everything that you do so welcome Melissa to jump Yes. Thank you so much for having me, Rebecca. Um, you just don't know. I've um, been longing following you. I think I started following you because I you captured my mind with your paintings. Like I was overwhelmed when I saw that because I love that your artistry was so faith driven and it was so, so much beauty into your artistry. Like I just I was just amazed and I started following you and I'm like, this is amazing. And I started sharing you, even when I had a small audience, I always, you know, I'm, I, you have to start small. Um, you know, God honors those that start out small and every step by step, you have to make sure that you walk it with the meaning and the purpose that you desire. So, because God gives you the desires of your heart. You know, he said that in his words, and those are his promises. And his promises are always yes and amen. And amen. <laughs> I feel like I, I gotta get. I got. I feel like this. This is going to be like a like a, in a like a church service here this morning. Like if you join me, <laughs> all creative. Get ready because I think you're going to have a load of faith just come to your heart after this interview. So if you're driving, make sure you're wearing a seatbelt because it's about, <laughs> it's about to get strong. <laughs> All right. So Melissa, take us back. I always like to bring our listeners to the story behind it because I think when people see so much glorious and success, <laughs> this gorgeous house that has fresh flowers and hot coffee and a beautiful table set. <laughs> you know, when people see, when people see all that, that's all they can see. They, they're they not seeing anything behind the scene. They're not seeing the dreams, the pursue, the work yeah. that takes. Yes. But this podcast is for creators and to be- yeah. It's for people that we're telling them like, hey, jump. There is hope out there. There's people doing yes. it. So take us back to the very beginning of how this whole thing started for you. Yeah. So my husband and I, we built homes for profit. We've built homes like ourselves. Um, we've lived in four states. We've built seven homes. This home here in Florida is our seventh home. And so as I began to like, we began to work together to build homes, whether it was for a uh, profit living or whether it was for just us living in it ourselves. I always had the creative mind to create spaces, um, whether those spaces was large or small, but I wanted that space in my home to have a purpose. And so that drove me. So when we moved to Indiana, I was like, okay, God, what, what is this? What is this um, that is going to, I'm sorry, I got a call in the middle of my Zoom. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I, I was like, what is the purpose of um, what's my next step? 
So I created this page upon, okay, I just really want to just show my vision on how I create little snippets of pockets of your home, like just little bit, little how you can fluff a pillow, how you can make a bed or how you can fix a delicious cup of coffee and people admire that. And so I didn't do it, do it while my children were younger because I wanted to give them my time. And because their time were, was valuable to me. And I wanted to give them my time, even though I did little things in my own home, I just wanted to make sure my children had my time. But now that they're older, I think that it's time that I get my time. <laughs> so now that I'm having my time and still nurturing them, but they are at the age where I've nurtured them and they are beginning to know how to nurture themselves. Now I can give myself to what I desire. Wow. Um, and upon that, I created my Instagram page, Purpose Driven Living. As you know, we all start out with zero. Like you start out with zero followers. And then you start getting your audience, you start building up maybe one follow, maybe two follow, maybe yeah. three, four, or five. It did not matter to me because if you got one person in your audience that's behind what you do, wow. then that is one person that you have inspired. And one person's going to say, hey, I got inspired by such and such. Have you seen them? Have you seen their home? And then it starts spreading like wildfire. And then you begin to say, okay, God, is this where you want me at? Okay. <laughs> is this what I'm going to do? So I loved it. I love creating spaces. I love getting DMs that says, hey, can you help me put this together? Could you help me put that together? And because I have a big heart, I you know, a lot of designers out here, they charge people that comes into their DMs to, to have them to set up a vignette. Um, I'm giving back because when someone asks me, hey, how do I set up this vignette? I, I got a family event and I want this vignette to be pretty. Can you help me organize it? Of course, I'm going to help you because one person helped me. And I know that once I get to that place, where God would set it up as a business that he would begin to pour in my customers. And if it becomes that, if that's where he wants me, then the, the, the fundamental for that dream of mine to actually become a, uh, what I want to become is that what I really wanted to do was stage homes. Like I always wanted to stage homes and whether it's for a builder, because my husband and I build. So staging those homes before we sold them was like my dream. So now I'm like, I really want that dream. Like I gotta have that dream. Yeah. So once that get, then I know that the financial part will pour into me because of the promises. And um, so with that being said, Pouring out myself with helping someone now is just a gift. And my room, my gift would make room for me. Mm -hmm. So That's I know at the end, the purpose of what I'm going to be doing is driving and living and creating home for people to be comfortable in and to when they walk into their space they say oh my gosh this is so cozy this is comfortable thank you so much and you know it's Rebecca I can go on and on but anyway that's amazing so if you can say a word to somebody that is watching that they do have a desire to create something amazing. How would be the first step? Like, what do you say would be the first thing for them to do, you know? So the first thing that I done was I began creating space for my family and my friends. Okay. Um, so, And then I knew that they loved it or they fell in love. So let's say that you want to be like me and you want to start that Instagram uh, a lot of times I see what a lot of um, people do is that they wait till they get this spectacular home 
and then they start sharing it. Your living quarters is your space, no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter if you are a renter, no matter if you're an owner, that is your space. Mm -hmm. Start creating your space, whether it's a little corner, whether you set up a coffee bar on your countertops, create that space. Like you would love walking to it in the morning time. Like I really enjoy going to my coffee bar, getting me a cup of coffee. I started there. And then so you can start sharing things right then and there. It doesn't matter. Put that out there on Instagram because I'm telling you, if you love it, that one person you will inspire and they will love it just as much. And before you know it, you will have an audience that love everything you do. So oh, just start, just jump. Like you say, just jump, put your feet to the fire and just jump. Oh, that's amazing. So <laughs> I love that because I think that's what you're saying. It's what we hear so many times is to start with what you have in hands and start where, where you're at, you yes. know, now let's move the conversation to you as a person and you're driving for fate and life and family. <laughs> how, <laughs> how that was, how did that started? Like, how did somebody started and say, I believe, you know, I, this is purpose. This is, you know, how did the whole thing inside of you, how did you nurture that inside of you? How did that came about? So I'm, I am definitely going to give this big round of applause to my husband because <laughs> when I used to do like the decor for Christmas gifts, my husband used to buy me books that explain dreams, that explain desires. And he understood my story. And he understood my passion, but I didn't have the confidence in myself that I can really do this. But every year, he would just surprise me with some type of book that motivated me to start. And, and he, I didn't know that he was behind me as much as he was until he told me one day, he was like, do you realize why I purchased these books for you or to get started on. He's purchased me like business books. He even encouraged me mm -hmm. to go back to school and learn how to get, he wants me to get a business degree. He wants me to do this. And I'm like, he says, because I know your heart desire. Uh -huh. And so with him doing that, that pushed me and that motivated me. For one, you've got to have that one person behind you a hundred a hundred and if I could say a thousand percent, because without that person behind you, whether it's a significant other, a parent or a child, you know, and we live different aspects of life. So I understand that. So whatever that one person is that's hey, pushing you, go, go, go. And that does things to move you and motivate you. My husband was that person. <laughs> Wow. And for that, I give him that round of applause. That is amazing. <laughs> and, and that's amazing that he was so patient to mm -hmm. wait for your time, to wait yes. for you to process, to process the time that you felt, okay, now I'm ready to do this. Yes. So yes. you had to have that time. But once you made a decision to say yes, your yes was your best yes. yes. That means yes. you didn't give up in the first. No, I didn't give up. Um, as I began researching Instagram, they always said, oh, if you don't have a certain amount of followers, you can't yeah. do this or you yeah. can't do that. And sometimes it kind of threw me in a corner where I felt like, okay, I don't have enough followers, so I can't do this. But then I realized I am not my own. So with that being said, it didn't matter how many followers I had. I still created things that somebody loved. That's and so with that, my creativity couldn't stop 
wouldn't stop. And I began to move my no, you don't to yes, you can. Come on. Yes, you will. You can do this. Let's do this. Let's go. And bam, doors begin opening. So I was like, yeah. Bam. And then you yeah. said, you know what? I'm going to dance. I remember the morning that I saw you dance on Instagram. I called my best friend. I called her. And I said, you got to go take a look at this lady. And she called me back. She's like, I just watch her. She's so free. This is so great. It was amazing. But this is so life-giving what, what you're seeing. If everybody could hear this and yes. take it to heart. Yes. You know, I think will it overcome a little bit of the fear of I don't have yes house is not this or I don't have all that money it's so interesting how much we have to overcome yes. to be ourselves that's it that's your it. authentic self be your authentic self and that will grab the hearts of others Yes. Just be your authentic self. And the other thing I noticed about you that I want to bring it up is because I feel like you were a teacher in this matter. I think I feel like you teach us <laughs> yeah. is your level of bringing honor to you, your mother, bringing yeah. honor. Can you share a little bit about that? Because we're living in a society that we are consumed by yeah. girls. It's just me and me more pretty, me, but you do bring into your feed to your followers. As an influencer that you are, you bring honor. You teach people, like, yes. here's how I'm going to honor my mom. And every yeah. time I see this, there's times that I actually cry. Every time <laughs> I see this, because it, when you do something, it reminds us of our own selves. Yes. And times of at least for me, as as a you know, as a person that my my ancestries went through so much, you know, in mm-hmm. you know, yes. like, so when you bring that honor to your mom and to the ones that came before you, the mind yes. did not had Instagram <laughs> at that time, yeah, right? To, to say how great they were, they were they didn't have that type of cheerleaders behind what is in your heart behind why do you do that so um i'm gonna share i'm be vulnerable and share my mom oh i get teary eyed every time i think about it my mother was a single parent of four she had three boys and i'm the only girl and i know the struggles I, we grew up in the struggles um, as my mom being a single mother. But what I can say is that watching my mom raise us on her own, she always kept her home together. We never knew if she couldn't pay her light bill. We never knew if she couldn't pay her rent. She didn't own a home. We rent, we was renters. Mom didn't own a home. So, and I'm being vulnerable by throwing this out there, but you have to know someone's true story in order to appreciate where you can be at this moment. So we never knew that, hey, we didn't have a meal that my mom could eat. Like my mom sometimes used to go to bed at night hungry because there was just enough food to, for her to feed us. And She never told me those stories until we became adults. And with her sharing that, it just made me appreciate the smaller things, the the little things that we sometimes in life, we omit. Our parents a lot of times doesn't share their struggles because they want us to see, yes, you can make this what you want to make it, no matter what condition you're in. And so mom always whether it was a, a photograph of her, of us and her four children on a mantle with a candle or a lot of flowers, she always made her home look so pretty. So I told myself that I will honor my mother every chance I get because I started there. And I didn't mean to cry on this oh, podcast. This is so good. 
but she okay. made me appreciate where I come from, how I came through. She made me appreciate this so much. And so I, I teach that to my children. My children never had to lack for anything, right. but that doesn't mean nothing. I always teach them, what if you didn't have this? Let me show you how you live just in case you don't have this. Wow. Because a storm could come wow. in your life. Yes. And you don't know where the storm will take you. So we have to be grateful for every moment, every minute. And she instilled that in me. My mom is such a creator. She crochets. And the Lord knows she's the best cook out there. Not to, <laughs> not to say anyone else's mom is, but she's the best cook. But she is such a creator. She crocheted blankets for us when we, when we was younger. My mom used to make my doll clothes. She's a seamstress by trade. So she, whenever she bought bought me dolls and things, she would make my clothes and things. Mm -hmm. Because we couldn't afford for me to go out and have all the best Barbie doll clothes that there I know. were. I know. <laughs> but she still tried to instill that in us that, hey, if you can't purchase this, we can hand make this. And boy, that is where my foundation began with her. So I always told myself every chance I get, I'm going to show mom that I appreciate it. The hard times. Oh, I appreciate it. Wow. Your struggle. I appreciate everything. Everything. I appreciate you, mom. I appreciate you. <laughs> and then, and then you just teach us how to serve and honor that generation that have give us everything. Yes. yes, I became her. I became her servant. Um, if you notice, if you see some of my reels where my mom, I'm serving her. Yes. I, I am definitely serving her in order to, and I take this back to the word of God, in order to be anything, you have to first become a server. And you know, you brought this <laughs> point. Now, now we're getting deeper and deeper here. <laughs> You brought this point, and I, one thing I have noticed in, lately um, in different circles and tables that I sit, and I sit in tables where people serve themselves first, and they they serve themselves to eat, and they don't have that spirit. And I sit in tables where the main thing is the person feels like I was created to serve. Now, here's what I see. The people that are serving the most are the most successful in every area I see. Yeah. The people that that hold back and says, I deserve to be served. You serve me. They are struggling for life oh my gosh, like yes. nobody else business. And it's lately, it's one thing that I noticed. And for you to say, We're created to serve, Rebecca. We're serving with everything in us. What you're telling me, what I hear from you is to say, here's the key for success. Yes. Serve well. Serve well. That's what you're telling me. Yes. You're telling me we are made to serve. Yes. <laughs> but, th but there's so many people that are struggling out there and they feel, no, 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 you serve me. Mm. Right, but they can't right. get out of the rat race. They can't get out of the places that where they they are <laughs> because of that mentality. Yes, I feel like I have connected with you in so many levels. <laughs> yes, because it's the level of a heart, it's the level of honor, it's the level of beauty, it's the level of creativity. But this level of serving is such a key to unlock yes. doors that we hope for and believe for. Yeah. Now, now when you see, you, we were talking before we recorded, you said, <laughs> when you look at your future, you know, mm -hmm. because I always call my friends by destiny. I yes. look at you and I see like you, I told my husband said, oh my gosh, I'm about to go to an interview with this very famous designer. Mm -hmm. And I said, and I said to him, I said, my heartbeat's going fast. And he said, you do great. <laughs> Because the way I see you, you have that place. You are my sister, but I, my friends, like I admire my friends. Like I, mm -hmm. I literally, I, I become like, I'm your fan, you know? Yeah. So I see them by their destiny. When you look at 
everything that you're creating and putting out there, what do you feel like it's going to be the next thing for you? Uh, I'm glad you brought that up. So I, I always think about this so much. Um, when I close my eyes at night and I told you this story, I always say, okay, why am I doing this? Like, why am I doing this? Um, what is my next step? Like, what if this happens? What? And I always think back to, okay, this appointed time and this purpose is going to expand in whatever your heart desire. And I always say dreams automatically come true. And so I, I said to myself, how in the world did I get these followers? How in the world do they follow? Like, why do they like me? Like what in my little self <laughs> do they like? Right. And then that's when I began to think about the why in the situation. Mm. And I said to myself, my handle says it all. Purpose driven living. Oh. There is a purpose for everything we do, whether we see it or whether we don't see it, there is a purpose. And when we begin to drive that purpose and to live in that purpose, then our why becomes our actions. Our actions become our dreams and our dreams become what we wanted from the start. <laughs> <laughs> do you see me my do you see like just my heart just receiving it's just you write what I had to stop and write it down there is a purpose for everything yes we do yes so what do you what, what are you saying is don't live a life reacting to everything and don't live a life without a purpose exactly yes right now I love I love all this this has been a rich conversation for the soul <laughs> it's just I you know I see that it's so I'm excited to see where the future is gonna take you yeah. the amazing things that you're going to do I remember a few weeks ago I was in I was in the interview with Handmade Amazon, and I had a guy there, Hilton Carter, and he's a designer. He was part yes. of the interview. Yeah. Yes. So in a little group with, with the interview. And we were talking backstage, and he said, well, I'm thinking about, I'm going to go full time doing this thing. We're talking. Yeah. Then I walk a Target, and I was, wow. This is Hilton Carter. <laughs> made it. I, you know, he was talking like, that he wanted to go full time, like yeah. it's 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 taking time. I'm struggling. I'm building a bridge. I, I hope this happens. But then I walk at Target and I see him, his picture, and I was like, "This is incredible! This is amazing. incredible!" You know. And I was thinking, like, I'm excited to see all the surprises and the places where you are going to go. Oh my! God. And I am going to say, "Oh my lord! I know that lady." I know her and I call her sister, you know, and I'll be so excited to see all the amazing, incredible places that God is going to place you and put you and you're going to light your shine upon everyone as you already do, because the people that don't follow you, they're missing a little bit of joy in their lives. <laughs> they're missing a little inspiration. They're missing a little teaching. They're missing a little bit. So if you are listening to this podcast, go follow Melissa on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for inspiration. Yeah. Melissa, if there is one word that you would like to say, one quote, one word that you would like to tell us before we end this, what that would be? Okay, so um, again, I take it back to the word, and I always like to come from Ecclesiastes 3, 17, and it says, I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and every work. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Every Amen. purpose 
there is a purpose for everything and every work. And it's like, it's right here. You just reach up and grab it and you continue to pull that purpose down until it reaches here. And then once it reaches here, you can then begin to move on that purpose. <laughs> this is incredible. We're so grateful. Thank you so time. much, Rebecca. I'm so, so gr <laughs> grateful for your precious time you give to us. How do the people, how can people connect with you? Um, where is the best place for them to go? So I'm on my Instagram most of the time. And again, my handle is Purpose Driven Living Home. And I'm also on TikTok, Pur Purpose Driven Living Home. Also on Pinterest, Pur Purpose Driven Living Home. So all three of those um, social medias you can find me on. But I'm on the Instagram majority of the time. If you want to message me and DM me, I'll find it there before I find it anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Melissa, again, thank you so much for being a jump. And thank I you, can't Rebecca. wait to continue watching you to the top. <laughs> All right. Love you, sister. Love <laughs> you. Bye. Bye-bye. Jump. You're ready now. Jump. jump. The sky's the limit. Jump. jump.